Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the door latch assembly on your dishwasher. If your dishwasher door no longer stays closed or opens during the cycle, the latch may need to be replaced. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dishwasher. So locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuse, and then we'll have our power disconnected. Now it's not necessary to pull the dishwasher out of the cabinets, although we do need to remove this upper latch, you should be able to do that from the front. Then our next step will be to remove the screws that go through the inner door panel into the outer door panel so that we can lift that off and access the latch assembly. So with the power disconnected, we'll go ahead and remove all these screws that secure that outer door panel to the inner door panel. Take note of the longer screws at the top. Then just carefully lift the door up. Then lift that outer door panel off using the handle. And we'll just set that aside. Once we have all the screws out, we support that outer door panel to the inner door panel. We're going to just lift it up. And then lift up and away with the handle on the front panel to disengage it the inner door panel and then we can set that aside now if your model has this type of membrane switch that is across the top of the door we need to next remove the single screw that secures that to the inner door panel it's normally a number 20 torque screw and just lift that control panel down and let it support itself with the harness still intact. Now with the control panel out of the way, our next step will be to either remove that latch assembly from the inner door panel. We can choose to remove the wire harness first. If you have a hard time getting hold of that wire harness to disconnect it, simply take the latch off first. There's a little tab on either side, just beside those two screw holes. Take a flat blade screwdriver, go in underneath the metal flange pull forward on that latch assembly as you tilt that little plastic tab downward. Now once we have it pulled away from that metal frame, you can then disconnect that wire harness. The locking tab on the end. Simply so depress that tab and then pull up on the harness. You can then discard the old latch assembly. We'll begin by reconnecting that wire harness. Press it into place. Make sure we insert it fully so that the locking tab engages. Those two tabs. And just depress those slightly as you push the latch into place. Make sure those tabs both engage. Next step would be to remove the hook 
from the face of the tub. Now normally you can do this without removing the dishwasher from the cabinets. If you have this gasket around there for sound protection, you'll need to flip it up and you'll see two little tabs on either side of that that we'll need to depress and then we can pull that latch right out of the tub. So just open the door up. Just lift up on that flap, locate those little tabs on the side, depress them while you pull that hook forward. Once you've disengaged both sides, you pull it straight out. We'll discard that old one. The new one is a slightly wider version, it looks very similar. We we'll want to make sure that we install it properly. The spring portion will be towards the top. Line it up through those slots and then carefully push it back. And make sure that it's engaged at the back and both tabs in the front snap into place. We can then close that door up again. We're ready to reinstall our control panel. Center it side to side. Make sure that it fits properly over the top lip of that inner door panel. Take note of the little keyway just to the right of center here that has to line up with that slot and that metal shield. And when it's fit up properly, that screw hole should line up in the center. Install that retaining screw. Now when reinstalling the front panel, we want to make sure that we set these two folded over edges just above these two hooks. They're going to slide in behind them right and left respectively. So center it above those. Slide it down and it should sit evenly on both sides. You can then pull that door open while lifting up slightly on that front panel. We line it up with the console. Lower the door down. And we'll install couple of those longer screws on either side of that latch assembly. And then a couple shorter ones near the bottom to hold the door in place. And before we tighten anything, just make sure that everything lines up straight, all these screw holes are lined up, and then go ahead and put the rest of the screws in.
Now, once we have all of the screws tightened up, we'll check the action of that latch, make sure that it closes properly. And we need a little bit of force to pull it open. We can now turn the power back on and our repair is complete.